This video is going to go over using the draft analyzer with the new draft sync feature for ESPN drafts. We're going to do this with a simple ESPN mock draft, which is fantastic to practice with. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import the ESPN league. You can grab the league ID from here in the mock draft name um, or in the URL string above league ID. And we're just going to simply grab that, come over to our draft analyzer. I've got both apps open in different uh, browsers. Um, add the league, we're gonna to go to complete setup and select our team name. We've got the first draft spot. Nobody else is filled in this league. So it's gonna go fast with the auto drafts, but the draft analyzer can keep up. Um, then we're gonna open the league, get this pop-up say that we're ready to draft. And new this year, you'll notice that there's a little message telling you to install a uh, browser extension. You can click here to learn more, but this is basically just a really simple one-click install from the Google Chrome App Store, free to install, add extension. And what will happen is when you add it, you'll see a little draft analyzer icon. It'll be shaded out here. Um, we can close that. And we need both browsers open, one with the ESPN Draft Room, which will make all of our draft picks in. And this is also where the draft analyzer will read the draft picks using this Chrome plugin. Now this is shaded out here. So when we install it after the ESPN draft room is open, we're gonna to have to refresh that page. And just to show you what happens is when you go to sync, ESPN draft room status, ESPN draft room not found, and it syncs and checks every two seconds. So the simple solution to that, if you run into that, is to come over here, reload the draft room, now you'll see that this icon is colored. It's not grayed out. It is active. Our draft is about to start in 15 seconds. We come back over the draft analyzer. Boom, sync successful, waiting for draft to start. So again, we've got both apps open. Um, I've got a wide screen so I can put them side by side, which is nice. Um, we are on the clock first here. Boom, you are on the clock. This is starting to sync. Let's make our pick Le'Veon Bell and almost immediately we see Le'Veon Bell drafted in the draft analyzer as well as all the auto picks so this is going to fly by and obviously you can look down at the draft grid you can use all the information at your fingertips in the draft analyzer all the recommendations the optimization engine we'll let this cruise through to our pick in the second round and we'll see a, a pick alert with the most optimal player based on the draft analyzer recommendations. We drafted Le'Veon Bell in the first round. It's telling us to take wide receiver Mike Evans. We've got all sorts of information, draft pick summary for our team. The grayed out ones are the optimal teams that we haven't picked yet, optimal picks that we haven't picked yet, positions drafted, and alternate, four more alternates if we don't like the top one. And again, the alternates will be different positions, it's not necessarily just another wide receiver. Uh, we may be better off taking these two running backs than these two wide receivers. But if we want to stick with it, we take Mike Evans, go over to the ESPN draft room, make the draft pick there. Boom. Very quickly, it is updated in the draft analyzer. Uh, and with auto pick, we're already on the clock again. Jarek McKinnon, ESPN draft room. He is not at the top of the list. There he is. So you'll certainly get different draft advice from a draft analyzer than you would in the list in the ESPN draft room, which is good.